Welcome to the Endo Spot. We're coming to you from Shanghai, China. Uh, simple disclaimer: uh, this is not professional production. I'm producing this on my laptop at home. Uh, I've got a recording of a demonstration I did at the Jiao Tong University in Shanghai, uh, and I'm going to show you a technique for removing GP from treated canals. We're using a plastic block that has been uh, filled with GP and AH plus. Uh, this technique is simply one of many techniques that are out there. Uh, perhaps it will create some interest and some comment from some endodontists and keen dentists out there. First up, we're going to use the R1 ProTaper retreatment file. And this file is designed to be used in the coronal third of the canal. Importantly, we're taking the file in under gentle pressure. We're not forcing the file apically at all. It's designed to break up the GP and create some space. At this point, we're not specifically trying to prepare the canal walls. Uh, you'll notice there's no lubricant or irrigation being used. Again, we want the file to, uh, to engage the GP and break it up. Limiting that file to where it will go passively, that is without undue force being placed on it into the canal. We'll move on now to the R2 retreatment file. This file has a slightly lower taper than the R1 file and therefore is designed to go further into the canal. We're going to take it into the middle third of the canal at this point, probably just short of where that curve is. Uh, again, just using passive pressure, so uh, placing pressure on the file that will allow it to pass without any undue force apically. Uh, to an extent, we're brushing away on the walls, attempting to remove as much GP as possible as before we attempt to uh, move around that curve. And now we're moving on to the R3 retreatment file. Again, this has a lower taper, so we're going to take it a little bit further down into that canal, just near to or slightly around that curve. We need to be careful with the curve because we don't have a glide path and we're relying on these files engaging the GP and following the canal or the preparation that's previously been made. Now of course many of you won't have access to the ProTaper retreatment files and so I'm going to show you how to use the gates Glutenbers to achieve a very similar effect. Here we've got a Gates 3 and again you just take that, uh, that burr passively into the canal so where it will go without undue force and you can see here we're just brushing away on the walls of the canal, that's the Gates 2 now and what you can see is that it is tending to produce a cleaner wall because we can use some slight lateral pressure and slight lateral pressure is what we're using there. Now with the Gates Glidden, of course, they're a stainless steel burr, so they shouldn't be used around a corner the way that the nickel titanium protaper files can be. So we should have an estimated working length prior to starting this process, and we should ensure that we're not using these files beyond our initial curvature. At this point, we're going to measure a file to our estimated working length. And we're going to use that file to start breaking up the GP. Here we're placing a couple of drops of chloroform or endosolve into the canal. You don't need to flood the pulp chamber with the solution, just a few drops into the canal. We're going to take our file, uh, you could commonly use a headstrom file, and we're gently just working away to soften and break up some of the GP that's remaining in the canal. You see we're using a watch winding motion there similar to the technique you might use to move a file into a canal when initially treating. And here you can see we're using a paper point to wick up the softened GP and so there may be faster ways to remove GP around a curve but I think this is probably the safest way if you're just starting out at retreating canals. We continue with paper points uh, just sitting in the canal. If you leave it there for a few seconds uh, you'll see that it will start to really uh, wick up the softened GP and just going in until, uh, repeating that process, sorry, until you're finding that you're not really getting much GP out. You can then repeat the procedure 
of filling the canal with the solvent, the chloroform or the endosol. Going back in with your file and just working that gently again. Uh, gentle watch winding, obviously pre-curving the file as well in the direction of the curve and just taking that file a little bit further. You'll find when the GP is quite old it can be fairly hard and it can take a little bit of time for the solvent to, to soften the GP so that you can start to pass the file. Um, when trying to remove GP from around a curve it really does pay to be patient and to not force your file at all. We Again, we don't have a glide path to follow, we don't have a canal to follow, so it's very easy to ledge the canals at this point. So going in with a paper point again here now and whipping up that softened GP. Repeat that process and what you'll start to see here through our plastic block is that it is actually quite an effective method of removing the GP. Uh, without relying on a, a file trying to engage it around the curve and cut through it. Uh, a word of caution probably at this point, we, we should be aware that if we soften that G and we put too much pressure in with our paper point, there is potential for us to extrude the GP through the apical frame. So again, just being gentle, it probably pays to measure your um, paper points as well uh, using that estimated working length that we have from the radiograph. So now we can see that our paper points are coming out relatively clean and when we insert a file into the canal we're quite close to our working length. So at this point you can use your apex locator to help you determine if you're at the working length or not. Uh, in retreatment cases the apex locator uh, may not be quite as accurate as it is in primary treatment cases because we've got some changes to the anatomy there from the previous preparation and maybe some cement uh, and GP still down in that apical area. So uh, at the very least it's time to take an x-ray um, so that we can get a better idea of where our file is within the canal. Um, so there you go, that's a simple retreatment technique. Uh, again, there's many retreatment techniques out there. I think this is one that's relatively safe if you're starting off with retreating canals. Uh, I'd love to hear from any other uh, dentists out there or endodontists who have comments, um, please leave your comments so that our other readers and listeners can benefit from them.